Welcome back, Capac. I've done a few things while you were gone, as usual. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have processed... Well, when I say I have processed, I've run the refineries to try and process a whole bunch of the nickel, and I've manufactured a whole bunch of motors, so we should have enough for all of the thrusters you've placed up there. All right, let's go. I have also made a mining ship. Uh... You have? Yeah. Where? It's not a rover. I don't see anything. Climb up to the top of our big rover. Up to the top? Uh-huh. I don't know if I want to see it that much. <laughs> what the? Uh, yeah, I put the scaffolding there just in case it dropped. Um, are you feeling all right? What? Um, were you drunk when you painted this? <laughs> I painted it this way because I wanted to see your reaction to it. And worth it. I see pink and purple. Yeah. And there's lots of red, but I think that's some kind of lights. Uh, yeah, that's just the ejectors that are switched off. Hmm. I also might need to figure out a way to get up there. Because I haven't quite sorted that part out yet. <laughs> yeah, we should be able to make those big thrusters now. Um, well, that'll take like 10 hours. What? Ferrying components back and forth. The turret. What? The turret will give you access to the inventories. That's not too far. Yeah. Even then, it'll still take 10 hours. Nah. These things are huge. Yeah, but it won't take that long. Uh... Did... Did you do this? Did I do what? There's a screen down here with writing on it. There is? Mm-hmm. Uh, I did not. Oh, it's rhyming even. I am a traveller from far and near. I hold treasures that are very dear. For those who desire, come and seek. It came from a place that was very bleak. So maybe one day you will see of purgatory you'll need to be. Uh... Huh. I don't know if that sounds promising or ominous. Feels like both. Ah! Ah! Whoa. Yep. Welcome to my injured. world. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was something. Ow. I guess that time it hurt. It hurts every time. That I've lost half my health in the past two minutes. Twice. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't get hurt at all. Yeah, typical. Admittedly, I kind of bounced off a few things as I went down. <laughs> <laughs> like, landed on one thruster, bounced off it, landed on something else, bounced off it. You know, sometimes I fall like two blocks and die, and then other times I fall off the top of the thing and lose half my health. Yeah, that's what Space Engine is for you. Same happens to me in single player. Mm. Yeah, the servers are ha having a few troubles at the moment, but they should get better. Probably... Hopefully the next time we record. I just wanted to get up to space, so I'm kind of pushing us to do this while it's well, suboptimal. Sounds pretty optimistic to me. Of course it's oh. optimistic. It's me we're talking about. I don't know if I like our chances of getting to space when I can barely navigate a staircase. <laughs> oh, I managed to um, collect a f little bit more silver from the various rock lobsters. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I think we... I, I think we might have enough to grind down the survival kit. But I feel like we should probably wait until we've got... Until we need just one more of the medical components. Because that way we can be... I, I just feel terrible if we ended up losing <laughs> the... Having no survival kit. That would be very bad. So I feel like we should wait. Speaking of bad... What? 
He just pushed me off a ledge and I died. <laughs> I did not push you! Sorry, I feel like we should wait. Speaking of bad... What? Oh. <laughs> I see your corpse. Yeah, you better you see my corpse. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I swear... Energy I, critical. Okay, I... I'm, on my end I noticed that I, I touched you a little bit, but I was off to one side of the thing. You're the one who runs down the middle and tries to push me off the end of long lines of blocks of as <laughs> your body slides down the hill. Yeah, well, since you seem to be invincible when you fall off, it makes sense. Yeah, I got hurt this time. Oh, what, you're down to 95 or something? <laughs> no, it was like 60-something. Look at you, knowing how to build the blocks so that the merged side doesn't attach to the non-merged. To the other huh? side. You used the slopes correctly. It's almost like you're learning. Slopes? What, on the ramp here? Yeah, you didn't put blocks on the back, you've just used exactly what you needed. And well, of course there were, there were other blocks, I took them all out. I needed a lot of scaffolding to get out here to build this nonsense. Yeah, but I, I was... I'm giving you credit. I'm saying you did something well. Mm. The fact that you've removed everything that might have stuck the merge block part to the other pit. I, I was trying to give you a compliment. I mean, doesn't it not matter until they're unmerged anyway? What? Like, it, it doesn't matter what's attached to what until you actually unmerge the blocks. Yeah, but if you'd attach them to each other properly, then when they unmerged, it'll do nothing. Uh... But how do you know if it's that way or not? Because I can tell with the way that you've done these slopes. This edge here does not create a weld between the two grids. Well, it did before because there was a block there. Yes, but you got rid of the bit that needed to go. You did good. What? You're not making any sense. I was... I was telling you you did the right thing and I'm really impressed. And I'm really confused by how you're saying what you're saying. Because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I feel like you've learned how to use merge blocks. Does that make more sense? Mmm, it sounds suspicious. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you really that suspicious of me when I'm giving you praise? What? I'm, I'm suspicious of you whenever you're saying that I've done something in a way that won't make everything explode. Yeah, because normally I'm telling you the things you did that would cause everything to explode. Exactly, that's my point. <laughs> so Therefore, what? it's suspicious when you say that things are done correctly. But why? Surprising, yes. Suspicious, why? Why is it because, suspicious? Because it means you're probably wrong and you've just missed something that's going to detonate the second we try to move. <laughs> you have so little faith in yourself? Well, I mean... More like I have so little faith in this universe's interpretation of physics. <laughs> Oh man, I thought people were being real rude to each other in the chat, and then I realized that one of them's actually called idiot. <laughs> yeah, idiot's actually one of the admins as well. Actually, I had something of an epiphany on that subject today. Which subject? The subject of people believing things even when presented with, with evidence that what they believe is not true. Uh-huh. I was watching a video where a guy was, he, he used as an example this guy that worked in a, in a museum. Yeah. Uh, of like the old west and they had this like mummified dude. 
who he was like, he was in a gunfight and then he walked off into the desert and the desert mummified him. And then they like investigated the, they did like an autopsy on the body and yeah. he had been shot and he had in fact been embalmed, which is why he was in such good condition and he had died of tuberculosis. Uh huh. But the, the guy that worked at the museum was like, well, I choose to believe that Sylvester was a gunfighter, regardless. And I think there's actually an evolutionary reason why people would believe things despite the evidence. Because it allows us to fit in with the social circles that we're in? No, even more fundamental than that. I think once we became sufficiently aware of our environment, uh, the people who were able to believe that they were probably going to survive, even though it was not likely, would be the ones most likely to succeed. Oh, yeah. Want to get in a cockpit, Capac? Oh, no. 30 seconds. Run, Forrest, run. Where's my rover gone? Oh, it's all the way over here. Ow! Oh. Made it with five seconds to spare. Plenty of time. Oh. What? Animal meat? What? Tofu? Oh, you have got that signal. S stupid gun shut up my signal and spread interior plates and things all over the terrain. Buttons still work, so. Well, that's good. I got a glamour suit. Well, shall we uh, drive off and go and grab some magnesium then? Uh, take the whole thing. We could try that if you wanted. Oh, I was just asking you what you're doing. Uh, I was actually thinking more the, just the survival kit rover and your rover. Okay. Did you seriously put an exhaust on your thing? Yeah. Look, I can't have all the fumes venting into the cockpit. <sighs> so how full are you on your hydrogen? On your ice? Um... I've got... 354 left. Well, quickly mine some and then let's get on the road. Whoa! Whoa! What are you saying? I just saw you slow-mo jump off that ledge and go through the ground and then pop back up again. Connection problem, you don't say. <laughs> Uh, well said. Don't tailgate me. I'm not. There's at least three vehicle distances. Th there's one! Well, there was. I, I can't help it that you're slow. With the lag, do you think it's smart going fast? I think it's cool going fast. I do have a bit of a problem, though. What's that? I think my exhaust flames are melting all the ice. Uh. Huh? I think I see a structure up ahead. I see like a moon over there. No, no, there's a structure up ahead. Can whoa, I? whoa, jeez. Don't just stop. Oh yeah, there's something. Um, you want to lead since I've got the survival kit? Sure. Yeah, it looks tall. Yeah. Looks like a wind turbine. Is it someone's starter base or something? You going in on foot? Yep. See turbine on a battery. And a connector. Is it just someone's like power? Thing. Uh, it's a massive crater. Maybe somebody's made a base over here? Whoa. 
So that's holes in the ground. That is a very spherical crater. Well, there's another one over here. Although, this, it looks like they had some kind of mining machine. Oh. Oh wait, yeah, that, that looks much more mining machine, doesn't it? Are you sure this wasn't you? I am 100% sure this was not me. Did you like sleepwalk over here and build a, some kind of mining machine? This was Saros. Wait. I swear I saw Saros was online before. Saros, that guy that's with the One Ring, Mount Doom? No. This is this is actually someone's base and their survival kit. Uh, it looks like bits of it are missing. Yeah. It does uh, have a beacon. Yes, because otherwise it would be deleted. Well, I, I don't think we should start attacking this person's stuff. Do you reckon somebody, like, made, made a bomb here or something? This very much looks like a bomb. But it looks too big. I didn't think warheads would do that much damage. Well, I'm going to make a GPS here so we know where this is. And to avoid it, sure. if they're online. Uh, share it too so I can get it. Can't evil spies tell where we are by checking our GPS coordinates off the videos? Yes. That's why there's a massive delay between when we record and when it publishes. Evil Mount Doom base. There we go. It's a pity we didn't bring the stuff to put up an LCD to say hi. Oh, that's an ore patch. Uh, something been digging. Magnesium. Oh. Uh, awesome. It, there's a huge trench here. Yes. Someone's clearly mined it. Uh, wow. Huge, huge trench. Hmm. Oh, this is awesome. We found a closer deposit. We don't even have to dig through rock to get to it. Except that's exactly what I'm doing. We don't have to, I guess. Well, I don't have to. And that's what's important. This is too steep. I'm trying to fix it. I fell off the edge. How much of this junk are we going to need? Uh, how much do you want to shoot the bad guys? Mm, I don't want to shoot them at all. I'm a pacifist. Entirely untrue. I'm a conscientious objector. You're not conscientious in anything. I conscientiously object to having to do anything. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, come back. There's a signature above us. What signature? I don't see anything. Oh, small signature. Yeah. F F D S. F O S. Friends of Steve. What? Yeah. Uh, they offered us peace and I accepted it. We see uh, a shadow here. Yeah, it's above us. Trailing it's us, like I don't know. Some kind going. of quadcopter. What is it up to? What? It's flying away. Oh, no, it's, it's coming down? Coming down. I don't I don't want to be out here in the open. <laughs> What's it doing? Well, we gotta find out. Yeah, I suppose so. We shoot it down? Hmm. It's, don't recall that being part of first contact procedure. <laughs> see, looks like it's got... Wait, it must be pretty big. It's 316 meters away. Yeah, but it looks like it's got four large thrusters. How can you see that much detail on it? I'm looking at its shadow. Oh. Does it, do we follow it? I don't, I don't know. Very slowly. It's not communicating with us. I don't know what it's doing. Hello? <laughs> now I don't know which who it is. It's none of them. I don't know what to do. I don't want to lead them back to our base. I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Get this unknown signal. I'm torn. I want to get back, but I don't want to lead them to our base. 
Nope, signature's gone. No. It's it's just Grazob. He's he's not gonna blow up all our stuff and take our ears as trophies. It says you. Uh huh. I've got it. What? We lead him to the evil Mount Doom base, and we say, "Check out our cool base." Yep. And then we say, "Hey, what's that over there?" And we point, and then we drive in the other direction. It's a foolproof plan. Oh, Ramon's there. What? Ramon's on board. It's a sky oh, transport. No. Uh, come on, get over here. Yeah, that's not happening. Are you through the world? Yep. Oh. Hey, Ramon. Yeah. Where'd he come from? Wait, is this that space rectangle? Yeah, it is. Uh. uh. Should we talk in some general, large shoes. or should I just read what I and Raman say? And you can just go, you can just slash whisper to Raman. Sure, well, we can Chinese whispers it. Oh, uh, we are back. Monster to kill. What? His helmet says space engineers on it. Wait, where's he going? That's me. Got a monster to kill. I want his silver. Oh, highway robbery, huh? Tundra robbery, more like. Can't rob a tundra. Oh, it didn't even have any silver. Uh. Dang it. That's what you get. Why are you amused by this? The silver helps you. Yeah, because it's not me that it happened to. That's why it amuses me. <laughs> Jack. I had to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune last time. Now uh. it's your turn. Um, so, Ramon just asked if we're still prepping for space. I said, yes, we're almost there, but we want to wait until Reload does his magic to fix the server. We don't want to de don't desync to destroy us as we take off. Well, I'm about to die. <laughs> Ramon was apparently out here looking for us. Oh, another rock lobster. Oh, let me get oxygen first. Oh, got a little silver this time. What are you two doing? I can't jump high enough. Stand still. Ow! Did that actually hurt? Oh, don't yeah. kick me in the head. <laughs> it's rude. I was using you as a jump pad. I was gonna jump off you to jump on top of it. You're not a Super Mario brother. Did Did you want to? Uh, you've got your vehicle. You can't. Uh, you can't go with Ramon. Yeah, I'm gonna drive back. <laughs> that worked out so well. Yep. <laughs> did it? Did my comment appear ahead of yours on your end as well? Yeah, just just slightly before I hit enter. <laughs> Perfect. Go. Cool. Roman's off. We're off. Let's head on back to the rover and see if we can drive the big rover while there's still some daylight. 4.74 kilograms of silver. We need another two kilos, I think, and then we can have. Then we'll have one. Then we'll only need to make one more med thingy. Ugh. All right, let's just do this. Let's get on the way. I can build this second gyro later. All right. So you de-stationing? Yeah, de-stationing. So we. Cutting off the ramps? Yep. Alright, the ramp at the back is detached. Is it moving at all to you? No. The wheels are spinning in place, but... Can you see the tracks that have gone out in front of it? What? Uh, yeah, like a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't like me trying to walk through them. Okay, I'm stuck here now. Whoa! Seems I did move. What the?
Oh, yep, it's moving now. There's a big divot in the ground here. Yeah, I think we made that earlier. Uh... Yes, I see that there is one wheel off the ground. Alright, connect up, Capac. Let me know when you're locked. I am connected. Alright, turn your headlights off. Uh, auto detect off, headlights off. Alright, hop out. Tell me when to stop it. Uh, that's probably as far as it's going to go. Okay. Uh, you're now re you now need to drive the other truck. Whoa, okay. those are bright spotlights. Oh, what the... Is that Roman again? Yeah. Uh, you need to kind of lead me a bit, Kavak. Well, if you want to go smoothly, it's probably this way. Because you have way overweighted the back of this thing with those big thrusters. Oh, this is the worst time to be doing this. And who was it who took so long to get ready this morning? You. You! You're like, I need magnesium. No, I meant the... Going to the magnesium. You took forever. Also, we have 18 minutes of power while I'm using the wheels. Oh, well, I was going to suggest you could use the thrusters to go faster if you need to get up the hill. Because apparently this thing weighs 1.6 million kilos. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, where am I going next? You're supposed to be leading. You said you couldn't make it up the hill. I didn't think I could. But then I did. Honestly, this is the most ridiculous thing I've driven since the bird eater. I don't know what you're talking about. I drive ridiculous things all the time. Yes. The most ridiculous thing I've driven. In fact, this feels a lot like driving the bird eater because I know if I get it wrong, it's game over. Game over, man. <laughs> Roman's using his spotlights to help me see. <laughs> also, I'm barely making it up this hill. By which I mean I'm not making it up this hill. Uh, I mean, like, in the dark, I can't even make a good judgement on what's a hill and what's not. Okay, I've made it. I've had to turn on the rear thrusters and the- uh, Come back! What? I'm about to crush you! Well, don't! Why are you st Aren't you paying attention? I was waiting for you to get here. And I got here, but what I thought you'd be watching. Were you watching YouTube? Maybe. Although it's hard to get more than 240p on these space connections. Uh, I feel you've gone the wrong way. Well, I don't know where to go. I can't see anything. That's really steep. Yep. Alright, maybe over this way. Can't tell if we're in a better position or a worse position right now. I mean, we're further away. Hmm. But I feel we're more exposed. Also, all my game noise just vanished. Oh no. Back, it's just real quiet. Alright, I'm just gonna have to park here for a sec so I can get my oxygen back. Is it getting lighter? Are we that near the pole? Don't think so. Looks oh, there's a there's fog coming in. That's why it's getting lighter. That's actually quite handy. Worried one of these little ridges is going to lead to a massive drop off. Well, if we do see a massive drop off and it's a natural one, we can just try and find a way to get down into it. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about nose diving into it in the darkness. Well, stop going so quickly. You're going like what? 40, 50 meters a second? What? 35. You were not. I thought you were limiting the speed on these things. We're going downhill. It only limits how fast you accelerate to. Downhill can take you faster than it. Roman's saying keep heading that way and we can visit his place. Ah. Oh, now that fog's gone, I can't see anything at all again. Yep. Oh, here comes one of those storms. Yep. I'm trying to convert to station, it's kind of occasionally giving me the chance and it's not accepting the input when I get it. Alright, it's the station again. Uh -huh. Turbines are spinning. 
Oh, nice. Uh, do you think we should throw down a couple of extra turbines on the top of, like, the bit at the back so that we can get a few bit, bit of extra power? Maybe. Everyone always complains when I make wind turbines. Why? Because you'd never do it right. Well, they're not efficient enough. Yeah, I don't really care. I just want you to put them down so that we get... Whenever there's a storm here, we'll get a bit of a boost. And hopefully we won't have to charge our batteries entirely with hydrogen since we're going to struggle to get enough for the flight to space anyway. I'd like to... What the... Passively gain some power. What? what? Was that you? What was me? Uh... Space Engineer's music just started playing. What? Uh, and also, Raman Ground Base, four kilometers directly ahead of us. Yep, he did say it was in ha ahead of us. <laughs> Didn't think it'd be that ahead of us. <laughs> we have managed to pick the perfect direction. Yep. So, Kabak, if you can, place it up on a block, one block higher. Oh, what? It's made a big difference. Maybe. Mm. That one says 23. What does yours say? Over here? I don't know. 21. Eh, it's not that big a difference. Uh. Doesn't matter. See, even you complain that my turbines aren't efficient enough. Like, it matters anyway. Just wait for a crazy storm to blow through. Then it doesn't matter how efficient they are. Mm, kinda. Yeah. I'm half tempted to try and put them on top of the parachute blocks that are down there as well. Sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Parachutes going through wind turbines. I mean, sounds like a good way to asphyxiate yourself. Get your parachute caught in a wind turbine. It's like getting your beard caught in an electric pencil sharpener. Oh no. What? I've got space rabies. I can't drink the water anymore. Have you drunk the water yet? No. Have you got it in your inventory? Yep. My water's down to 40 and I'm not drinking the water. Uh, try sitting in the front cockpit of my rover. Because mm. it has noms in the name, which means you will eat and drink even if you aren't immediately in need. Finally worked. Alright. Hop out. Turn off your suit lights. Make sure your vehicle has enough power to not get deleted. Here we go. I'm hooked up. Alrighty. Uh, fingers crossed we don't get found. Because we are right out in the open. In the next episode, Kapak and I will be attempting to go to space. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then.